Hello everyone, this is Marita, one who catches lightning with the path of Ish, coming to you with a new Tresena, so new 13 days in the Mayan calendar. And this is the time of, this is actually perfect time as we head close to, if you're in the United States, Thanksgiving. Um, this is the time of Sib, uh, and Yucatec, Mayan, Ajmak, and Kiche. And this is really, the next 13 days are about connecting to the ancestors. This is about ancestral knowledge, not just um, from your bloodlines, but also, uh, again, from your tree, from the trees, from the mineral kingdom, that ancestral knowledge plant that you have and stored in your bones, in your memory, in that which you are. So we have 13 days to be able to connect with the ancestors and remember. It's also the Nahuale of healing and that of Mother Earth and of forgiveness. So we have 13 days to be really able to connect to ideas and stories and all of those things that we have had passed down to us and make decisions. Will we continue living these stories or will we change them? I have a class coming up for Saturdays in December, um, Ancestors on Ancestors Healing Ancestral Lineages. So if you want to join hashtag Ancestors, I'll send you the sign up the link, but it'd be powerful. All my classes have a time for a platica, then a meditation and healing and community building as well. But I want to talk a little bit more and we can do a small meditation to start bringing in this time of the ancestors. We're also in the time of the West and about to go into the time of the North. And the time of the North is the time of the ancestors where after you've harvested the seeds, right? Harvested the seeds. And this is a really important thing to know. Harvesting seeds. So many times we think that we're only harvesting fruit or flowers and we don't let things go to seed, but it's important to let things go to seed and not just like kill everything off, right? But to harvest the seeds so that you can plant again. So I feel that um, unless you're a gardener or unless you grew up many times First Nation or just come from those practices, people forget to harvest seeds. And it's so important to harvest seeds because they are the potential of what can be. And it's through the telling of the stories in the winter that with the ancestors and counting the seeds and harvesting from, you know, the petals or anything like that from, you know, the seed pods, if there were flowers or seed pods from, and to be able to then to travel. And that's another thing. Many First Nation people, you know, had, multiple homes, you know, so you had a home in the winter, you had a home in the summer, right? So this is before, you know, there was patrols on borders and borders existed. So I just want you to feel into that idea of the importance of waiting. Can you wait to actually harvest the seeds of your potential? Or are you rushing to just catch the bloom of something? Can you sit with something that maybe looks like it's dead, but actually see the potential in the harvest of it? It's as important as the ones that did bloom. And I just want you to sit with that. And I want you to sit with the stories of how we have to have things in certain ways in Western society how things are supposed to look or feel, especially as we're coming on the holidays and everyone, whether you are visiting family or not, right? Um, the pressure that the holidays bring for things to look like something and all the stories attached to if you cannot visit family, what does that mean? And what does that reflection mean then if you can't? I want you to sit with that and I want you to bring it forward so that we can do this little meditation today as we bring in the ancestors. Again, if you're interested in my ancestor class, hashtag ancestors, I'll send you the link. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do our three breaths and do a little meditation to bring in that energy of Sib, bring in the energy of one, which is of beginnings so that it can support us over these next 13 days. So as we do all the times, let's take our three breaths, right? 
And we're going to breathe in and out through the nose. It calms down your vagus nerve. It affects it so it calms you down. In and out through the nose. And we bring our mind into this time and in this place. In and out through the nose, bringing our body into this time and this place. In and out through the nose, bringing our essence into this time, into this place. With all three things combined, we humbly approach Mother Earth. And in that humility, that humility knowing we are no greater or lesser than any other being. So with that knowledge that we can come in a humble way that our beingness is enough. No matter if you've done a lot today, you haven't done anything today, your beingness is enough to come to this time and this place to have this meditation as we humbly ask Mother Earth for a root with open hands, humbly asking to receive great power. And that great power that we're asking is her unconditional love. So as we accept that root for Mother Earth, let's send down to her with open hands, right? Our gratitude, our gratitude for our mind, for our body, for our essence, our gratitude for just existing. Can you think of all of those things and with open hands, send them down to her? Think of also all the things and all the times that you fell in love with mother nature. Whether you were young and the first time you saw a butterfly, the first time you felt the sunlight and really enjoyed that sunlight, or you saw a moonrise or a sunset and the joy of that, or when the first time you saw a rainbow, can you bring in all of those things into the center of your heart? Songbirds, new days, swaying of trees, wind, and offer them with an open hand to Mother Earth in gratitude and thanksgiving as she fills you up and gives you a root, that to which you have earned based on your relationship with her. And allow that root to hold as we bring in and humbly ask Onohe, Grandmother Moon, for a sky root uniting the heavens and the earth here in our heart center As we sit now in the time of the West, let us start first giving thanksgiving for the time of the East and the time of the East that allowed water in springtime and those seeds of potential to grow, the time of the South and the heat that it brought to allow things to fruit, the time of the West right now where we sit gathering not just the fruits and the veggies and the beauty of everything like that, but also the seeds as we go into the North to sit with our ancestors. As the circle is open, as we call upon all the directions and all the guardians in whatever tradition that you believe in, the guardians also of the upper world, the middle world, and the underworld to come here as we sit in this circle and you take your place in this circle within this community. as we bring in the energy of the day, the tone of one, the tone of potential and beginnings, the tone of Sib, the idea, the connection to the wisdom of our ancestors, and also forgiveness, and the Naguale of Mother Earth. And as we bring these energies in, can we for the next 13 days and as we go into December and enter then to the time of the North, sit with our ancestors? Whether you know where you come from or not, can you sit with the wisdom of the ancients? And can you feel into that? And can you then sit with that and negotiate? Do you want to continue these quote unquote traditions or do you not? Does your family have a tradition of fear and judgment and shame? Feel into that now. Do you want to continue in that? Does your family have a tradition of racism and bigotry? 
do you want to continue? First, you have to acknowledge that it comes. First, acknowledge that we all have parts of this, right? The world has been living and humans, unfortunately, have been living with parts of these energies, right? We're not, not there, nothing is good or bad, but has it actually helped us advance ourselves? Has it actually allowed us to have a good connection with Mother Earth? Has it actually allowed us to have a better connection with other humans? So feel into that. You make the decision today. Do you want to negotiate with what you have inherited or with the traditions that have been passed down, not just intellectually, but physically, emotionally, spiritually? Where do you fit into all of this? And do your traditions actually allow space for you to exist in radical self-love, living your fullest potential, or do they not? What they are, what they are, you know, hey, what they are. As you sing and bring these energies and allow yourself the space to sit in the circle with all of these things, not judging them, not berating yourself, not judging yourself. You can choose what continues to exist. And can you have conversations with these things and with these traditions? and get really to the bottom instead of just abandoning them or ripping them off or saying this doesn't fit. Why does it no longer fit? Can we heal the core and the root of where things started? Take your three breaths again as you bring your mind back, your body back, your essence into the circle with the ancestors. And can we bring forgiveness and compassion to the circle right now? Allow that root of Mother Earth to give you that unconditional love. Allow that sky root to root you into this dimension, this reality, this time, this space. So you don't escape, knowing that you're safe here, knowing that there's enough love, enough grace, enough hope, enough radical self-acceptance and love that you can be in, stand in, breathe in and out. Know that you can come to the circle for the next 13 days. And as we continue to move towards the north with the ancestors, to sit with them, to learn, to be able to make decisions of what you want to continue to carry on or what you want to heal. When we heal ourselves, we heal our ancestral lineage. Can we come with all of it and love? With that, let's start closing the circle with gratitude for this time, for this place, to all the directions and the guardians of the upper world, the middle world, and the underworld, for the directions of the north, south, east, and west. For you for showing up, for all your ancestors who showed up. May you, in these next couple of days, walk in grace, gratitude. Thank you, Debbie.
I'm going to be on tomorrow to do the Thanksgiving address that the Iroquois Notion uh, prays at their gatherings. We'll do it in English, of course, so please join me here or on my page. My name is Marita, one who catches lightning with the path of Ish. If you want support in sitting with the ancestors, I have a circle that is still open, hashtag ancestors, and I will send you the link. There are four classes in December. They're called intensives. We do 90 minutes, and they are intensive, very intense class, and we have circles of healing so I would love to see you there. And to all my relations, thank you.